balanced that very well. If I want to talk about the unity of ODM and Kenya Kwanza and having a, true, a super majority, sorry, and uh, uh, in combination with, uh, with the question that was asked uh, by Eric on the broad-based government that has killed the vigor of the demonstrations. I want to tell you that uh, in parliament there was already a super majority that passed the finance bill. But that did not prevent the Gen Z's. It did not prevent Ruto from coming out and rejecting after pressure had been pressed on him by the people. The constitution is clear that power vests with the people. The sovereignty is with the people. The people are supreme. That supermajority in parliament is not a supermajority. It, it is an imaginary supermajority that is in, intended to achieve some selfish gains or ambitions. And therefore, one person with God is the majority. But now here we have a few people in parliament, members of parliament team ground, together with the Gen Z's, with the millennials, with other Kenyans. That is even more than a super majority. And that is what we need. We don't need any other supermajority in parliament. And number two, our voices will always be aired in parliament, irrespective of our numbers. Why? Because sometimes it's not about winning the war, but it is about being at the battlefield, registering your presence in the battlefield. Our presence will always be registered, irrespective of our numbers. And that is the time that you will know that in case those numbers will not be favoring the interest of Kenyans in Parliament. We will go back on the ground. Gen Z's can always come out together with millennials and still make it right. That supermajority, if you saw the way they were running under the tunnel, then you knew you would have known that there, is <laughs> there was no majority there. There was the minority. So uh, the next question is about uh, Jimmy Wanjigi. Of course, you talked about uh, Ruto invading Jimmy Wanjigi's privacy. I want to just quote Ruto when he used to say, to paraphrase, he used to ask the former president, Uru Kenyatta, to spare his family, not to kill his children, to spare his children and his family. What is he doing? He's now gone below the belt. He's now targeting people's families. And we want to tell you, you also have families, yeah. my friend. Just the same way Moi is now a former president. Kenyatta is a former president. Moi is a former president. Kibaki is a former president. Uhuru is a former president. You are going to be a former president. These children of yours are going nowhere. So do not intimidate people's children. Because when your time reaches, there are those people who will hold the yam and the knife and will give you your share, your fair share. So don't intimidate us. Everybody is going to die. Nobody dies prematurely. So you can't intimidate us with death. Our children already know that we are political leaders. It's not news. Embarrassment is our other name. So don't think that we can be embarrassed by these petty issues. We are going to fight for our people. So I'll leave it at that, then leave it to Mweshimiu. And lastly, the MPs that you are calling the super majority in parliament, I want to tell you that these MPs already know that the ship is sinking. The ship that Ruto is the captain, is already sinking. And they're already taking that now we know that you'll be clutching